Five class. So today we're going to be talking about the ambiguous case. Shut up. Alright, so now, the end. So let's say you're given angle A, which is 29 degrees, side A, which is, pretend that's an A, 17 centimeters, and side C, which is 18 centimeters. It's dramatic. I'm not done. So now, using the law of signs, we can solve this triangle to find angle C and everything else. Uh, Mr. Matt, what is the law of signs? So now, the law of signs is a good question. I mean, is side A over side of A is equal to side B over side of B, which is equal to side C over side of C. And so now, these are the side lengths, A, B, and C, and the angles, A, B, and C. And this is a ratio, meaning I can set A equal to C, or C equal to B, or B equal to A, and they will all be the same thing. Meaning I could use, if I know three of these, I can solve them. Mr. How do I know if I have an ambiguous case? That's a, that's a decent question. How you would have So now, that's, you know it's an ambiguous case when you have a side, you have a side, and a side. But if the side length corresponds with the angle, meaning you have, let's say, angle A and side A, and you angle your side C, that is an ambiguous case triangle. In which case, you will have you could have one triangle, two triangle, or no triangle. Oh, yeah. That's a very good question. So I've solved for the first triangle and found angle A, B, and C. However, the first thing I did was solve for angle C, right? So now you take you do 180 degrees, which is how many degrees in a triangle, subtracted by the angle we found, which was 30.8. And that would give us 120.11. No. Okay, so now you should you do 180 degrees minus 30.89, which is the angle we solved for here, and that'll give you 100. And then what you do is you will take, that will give you the 120.11. So now you add this to the 29 degrees you found before. And that will give you 149.11. And as this is less than 180 degrees, we know we have a second triangle. Right? So. Okay, Mr. Matt, how do you know if you have no triangle? Well, that's also a good question. If you have, if you have your angle here, and or if you have your uh, given stipulations here, and you're solving for it, in the end you're going to have to do the inverse sign of whatever you get because you're going to be solving for an angle. But if the sign comes out as no solution because it's outside the domain and you don't have any track. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So now. Make sure it's sideways though. All right. See, what you're gonna do is the given angle, uh, the angle that you were given, you're gonna move that over. So it's gonna be the same angle trying to do. And then the angle you solve for to find out if it was the same angle, that's gonna be your angle C. And so now, now that we know these two angles, we can add them up and subtract them to find a real And just like we move these two over, the side lights move over, the side lights move over. And so now, uh, we all we need to do is solve for side length B. And so just set up your law of signs and solve for side B, which is 1.16. Make sense? Yes, sir. All right, class dismissed. Hey. <laughs>